Hey guys, welcome to Lead Time's video. We will introduce the Lead Time app. Lead Time app supports monitoring the single battery and battery system. This video includes how to add battery and battery system, what information you can monitor in real time, how to operate the Lead Time app, and what's in the menu. How to add batteries. The battery is powered off when you receive it, and you need to charge it for 3 to 10 seconds to power it on. After powering on the battery, scan the QR code printed in the manual or attached on the top of the battery to download the Lead Time app. And then register the account and log in. Make sure Bluetooth is on before adding the battery. Now let's start adding batteries. Scan the QR code on the battery or search Bluetooth to add the battery. You can still add batteries even if there is no network. And you can scan or enter the serial number on the battery to finish adding it. After adding the batteries, you'll find the overview of the battery information, including the default battery name, serial number, and remaining battery capacity. You can connect or disconnect the Bluetooth by tapping the Bluetooth icon in the upper right corner. But in the following situations, Bluetooth will be automatically disconnected. Situation 1. The battery is completely discharged or in under voltage protection state. Both cases indicate that the battery is powered off and you can charge the battery to power it on and then reconnect the Bluetooth. Situation 2. Bluetooth will also be disconnected when you close the app. Situation 3. When the distance to the battery is outside the Bluetooth communication range, Bluetooth will be disconnected. If there are any other abnormal disconnections, please contact us. Tap the battery card to view the detailed battery information. Here, you can check the real-time data for each battery, including remaining battery capacity, charging and discharging power, and so on. The icons below show the real-time status of internal cell balancing cell and BMS. Swipe down to check the battery's serial number, internal temperature and cycle times. If you have any questions, provide us with the serial number so we can locate your battery. Swipe up to the top. You can see the working status of the battery here. When the battery is charging, you can check the estimated full charge time. Likewise, when the battery is discharging, you can check the remaining discharge time. Negative readings of power and current indicate that the battery is discharging. Okay, that's all battery information you can monitor in real time through Lead Time app. Let's see how to operate the Lead Time app. There are two icons in the upper right corner. The left icon is the customized icon. You can edit the battery name by tapping it. The right icon is the Bluetooth icon, which allows you to control the Bluetooth connection. Tapping the control icon at the bottom, you can manage and control your batteries. You can control whether the battery powers the load or not by clicking the discharge switch button. When you click the power off button, the voltage will drop to zero volts. That means the battery is powered off and Bluetooth is disconnected as well. If the battery is connected to a charging source, the power off function cannot be enabled. Bluetooth is still on state. When you remove the battery, you will find the battery is deleted from the battery list. Lead Time app also supports monitoring the battery system. Before adding the battery system, confirm all batteries are added. Tap the Add button on the battery system list. Name the battery system, set the system configuration, and choose the types of scenarios. Then add the previously added batteries and make sure they are the same model. Connection order and structure should match the actual connection. Tapping the Confirm button, the data center will automatically collect all battery info one by one. Individual battery status shows in top right with green, orange, red dots and alert icons. Dot means battery's info is normally accessed, but a red or orange dot means something's off with the battery. Tap the battery card to check out what's wrong. Alert icon means trouble getting battery info. Tap the battery card to sort it out. By setting the battery system, you can monitor system data including voltage, charging and discharging power, and current and remaining capacity. The negative readings of power and current indicate that the battery is discharging. Tap the setting icon in upper right corner to rename system. 
Tap the edit icon in upper right corner of system configuration to adjust the order and structure of battery connection. Drag and drop to move positions. Tap the refresh button at the bottom to get the lastest data on the battery system. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can leave them in the comments and feedback on the Personal Center page. The user guidelines will provide you with important operation tips. Tapping the setting button, you can set the temperature unit, language and font size. The account information is at the top. Be cautious to delete your account. The account will no longer exist after deleted and you won't be able to retrieve the information for the connected batteries. Okay, this is the video about LeeTime app. When we release the new version, we'll update the video at the same time. See you next time!